Oh man, I have been waiting for this for a while. The um, This package uh, comes to me from a uh, from a Boldports uh, subscriber um, who also makes Sadie. You're bumping the camera. I mean, seriously. If you're gonna help, hold the camera steady. Crazy cat. Okay, so I'm not gonna shoot this video. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. I'm gonna sit here and pet you. Is that what you're saying? Okay. So as I was saying, this comes from a, uh, another Bold Port subscriber who makes kits that are um, synthesizers. And so let's see what uh, we've got here. First of all, <laughs> handwritten note. Have fun. Thank you. I will. Uh, what else comes in here? <gasps> candies. Of course. Got to have candies. Uh, because this is going to be a good build. And I made a racket. Stickers. Got to have stickers. And you're not going to... You're still not letting me do this, are you? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yes. Precious cat. 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 We are going to make a drum synth. Um, there's a bunch of different racket kits that are on their website, and I'll put the links in the description, obviously, but www.rackets.co.uk. And this one is the drum synth. So let's take a look at what we have in store here. Um, other than, here, yeah. sure. Can you sit in the box, Sadie? Can you? Can you? Come on, sit in the box. Sit in the box. So let's see what we got here. We have got a, <laughs> a drum synthesizer. Um, a nice beefy PCB that looks like these things punch out and become a mounting uh, case for it. Possibly. We'll see in a sec. But um, yeah, uh, a piezo on the back. We've got all well, the brains of the operation, the circuit board that forms the brains of the operation. Oh, look at that. With the uh, with the power connector already connected. So I'm wondering, you know, probably something like that. Yeah, these must form. Oh, I wonder if you solder the board together like that, or it just goes together, snaps together as a case. Yeah, I don't see any place to solder on either side, so it must just be... Uh, maybe bolt it together. Anyways, we'll find out. But yeah, a very nice www.rackets.co.uk Are we focused? Yes. I know, I know. I've been on vacation and I've been ignoring you and you've been looked after by sub-optimal humans. It's terrible. It's totally terrible. But anyways, yeah, what else do we got? A bag of bits and bobs with switches and power supply for a, and micro controllers or maybe, what have we got in here? Uh, looks like an audio amp chip. A BA6110, yeah. Two channel, an amplifier chip, probably two channel. Um, some LM2904 2904s, what's that? That's an LM, yeah, 32904s, and a 455D. What is that? We'll have to look that up. But those are the those are the brains of the operation there. Well, and op amps. 
and then some pots. Yes. Oh yeah. Yes. Rub the belly, she says. Rub the belly, she says. Rub the belly. And some pots and switches. Now, I'm betting that we don't have to taco any pins in order to make these pots fit into the... And they're nice pots. Weren't? Hard to say. But yeah, they feel nice. <clears throat> Not super cheap. Like some other kits I've put together. Um, some... Oh, look at that. They even have the color codes listed out in the resistors. A cheat sheet. Very nice. And she is this a quick guide. Yes, synth quick quick start guide. Oh yeah, look at that. Input and output. Headphones probably. Triggering. Triggered by a piezo. Look under the other side of the drum logo. Tap it with whatever. For example, yeah, you can trigger it with an external trigger. So a sequencer could trigger trigger the drum kit. Uh, nine volt. Battery, 10 milliamp power consumption, 30 hertz to 3.5 kilohertz, low frequency oscillator goes up to 400 hertz. That's the voltage controlled oscillator. Low frequency oscillator. The decay can be adjusted from 50 milliseconds to plus 5 seconds. So de decay. Output level of the mentions, units behaving abnormally. Volume adjustment, voltage controlled, um, voltage controlled, VCA, VCA, voltage controlled, voltage control adjustment. Then until you can no longer help VCO. Start off. That's the quick start guide. Now, is there? No, there's no instructions, but. There is <clears throat> a. All of the components seem to be labeled. Yeah, the 4558, the 2904, 2904. Is that an extra? 2904 they include then, just in case of failures? Unless there's another place for 2904. Yeah, oh yeah, there's three. One, two, three. And then the 40. Maybe to five, and then where is our amplifier? Along here, I bet. Yeah, that's our amp. So that's output, that's trigger, and that's input. Yeah, I wonder if it's a sampler. And then, what is this little jobby here? A switch, possibly? Uh, that would be my guess. So we've got a sweep select, and then what are we? we've got an input output. So we've got some, some yeah, uh, and then oh yeah, nice. Okay, yeah. Now I see why you you were looking for um, different switches for here because the the ones that we were looking at on. Bullport Club, yeah, those would look nice on there. Definitely, but these feel good. I like it, I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, um, some LEDs for just blinking lights. All right, um, and then a few transistors. So um, I don't know if he provides schematics anywhere. Um, I'll have to check. Piezo plus, piezo minus. And then there's a couple of trimmer for the low frequency oscillator and then there's probably a trimmer for the voltage controlled oscillator somewhere. Anyways, yeah. Nice. Shouldn't be too hard to um, put that together. Oh yeah, VCA trim right here and the volume trim right here. And then, so those going like that. Yeah. And do they put the values? 50k, 50k. 50k, 50k. Should be pretty straightforward as long as I can keep my cat happy and she'll let me solder. We'll be all good to go.
so the um, the pots will hold the um, the sides together with their with the little uh, um, what do you call it? not pots the uh, the jacks for the input and the output will pull keep the sides pulled together and just tap here. <laughs> that is a beautiful piece of construction. That lovely lovely idea. That's amazing. Um, brilliant, totally brilliant. I love it. And then these coats here can probably be used to put some sort of a rubber feet on it. Is that what these are for? I'm guessing. Because those would just slide on there like that. And then, yeah. Oh, that is such clever engineering. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh my gosh. It's brilliant. Just brilliant. Oh wait, there is a step-by-step -step assembly guide. Um, maybe I should visit the website. <laughs> I wonder if there's enough room to socket the ICs. Because that's just the way I roll. There might be. There just might be. Looks like just barely enough. I mean, these machined hole sockets are, or machined hole, machined IC sockets. They're nice, easy to pull and replace. Resistors are all different heights and different shapes on the bend. I have to figure out a way to bend resistors better. That is a nicely dense PCB. So these need to be flush with the board as well as the edge of the board. So you want to, because they're they're actually mechanical components as well as electrical components. You know, I, that one's sitting a little proud. I'm not happy with that. I'm going to I'm gonna have to redo that. I think, because that's going to prevent it from sitting flush. Damn it! You know, this is why they included the snack, because at this point, definitely need the snack. Mm. Going bears with the belt. So, some strain relief and solder the top part on. And we are getting close. Oh yeah, we are getting close. But, more sustenance, more sustenance. Beer and gummy bears is fine for dinner, right? Zero, zero, zero. 500k. B502 or B5102 is 500. No, wait. B102. One zero, 100. 
and the rest are 100k, 100k. Gustafson is incredible on saxophone. If you've never seen him live, you've got to go see him live. Gotta. So here we are trying to align. Oh, whoops. I'm missing a switch. I'm what? I'm missing a switch. Oh, yeah, that's okay. I can. And then there it is. Good. Look at that thing. It's beautiful. <laughs> man, oh man. That is a gorgeous piece of kit. Simple, elegant. Hope it works. Okay, test one. Power on. The attack LED should respond to the rate knob. There we go, one, two, three, four, and then as you increase that. All right, so far so good. Connected to speakers. It's making noise. <laughs> I'm making a racket. 